Hey guys, um, in this video, I'm going to share something that I ran across um, recently and that's been kind of bugging me. Um, I don't know if it's uh, been bugging you also, but it's the way Adobe um, has changed the way when you open up a PDF, um, if it'll allow you to highlight text. So uh, just to uh, give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So I have Adobe uh, Acrobat DC here. Uh, this is the free one um, that you can anyone can download off the internet uh, without paying for. So I'm gonna launch it, and um, I've got this uh, PDF here um, that I'm gonna open it with. The reason I'm not opening it, uh, just double clicking on it, because I I have the full version of Adobe, and um, we're gonna get to that in a little bit. And I just I didn't want it to launch that, so. I'm going to select it here off my desktop. So uh, this is just a basic PDF. Uh, I'm gonna get to the scroll uh, option here. So if you see scrolling, um, you can see that there's text uh, tied to this uh, PDF. Um, so now um, if I go to the highlighter tool and um, you're gonna see that it, the icon, cha the uh, cursor changes to a, uh, almost looks like a, a paint brush. If you, if anyone's familiar with some uh, uh, design programs, but if you try to highlight this text here, um, you see how uh, it does the highlight, the this the highlight uh, differently. So, for instance, if I'm trying to highlight uh, this entire paragraph. I simply can't drag from the beginning to the end. Um, it's almost like you're drawing over the text. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that, and Control Z to undo that first one. So it's um, whenever you select this highlight part in the uh, free version of uh, Adobe Acrobat, I believe this is Acrobat. Uh, if you try to uh, highlight and this is all freehand so you see how it's it's going off um, in different directions um, unless you have a, a really stable hand here uh, if it's a if it's a single word you're trying to highlight it should be relatively easy and it looks like if you if you relatively keep the cursor stable um, it will straighten it out straighten out the the, hi, uh, the, the highlight but if you have a long uh, a sentence that you're trying to highlight, um, if you do it quickly, it looks like it will it will straighten out. But if you're trying to make sure you're you're doing it properly and you go slow, oh, it still did it that way too. Well, it looks like it's a uh, it will still straighten out here. But, anyways, uh, that is not the way I like to highlight, um, and I'm assuming that's not the way uh, you would like to highlight too. So what I found is apparently, um, I don't know if it's this is by design, but even though this PDF has uh, text on it, Adobe Acrobat is not detecting this text. So I think it's just detecting the entire document, like almost as an image. So um, you could try to go to. There is an option here to. Uh, I think it's probably an edit. All right. So under edit, there's an option here to edit text and images. If you click on this, what will happen is Adobe will go through. Uh, Acrobat will go through and I guess it will perform a scan on the document um, see if it can detect text if it does detect text it will uh, box that text in um, in order to uh, to identify it and it looks like it's doing it on a, a, a per per page uh, kind of uh, kind of method here so as I scroll down each uh, sheet that it gets to it will perform a text analysis on it 
So now if I were to try to highlight, so I'm going to select this paragraph and click the highlight function. All right, if you notice here, nothing happened. Um, let's try this again. All right, so this time um, I was able to highlight successfully. Um, and now it looks like it's, it's going through highlighting as it normally should. So uh, it looks like now, of course, um, as I leave that page where it had performed the uh, the text recognition on, and I go down to the next page, it is not detecting it is not detecting that there's text here, and that it is an image. So it has reverted the cursor back to kind of like the brush. So even though I have the highlight button selected, it will go back to the um, almost like painting over the text. Now if I go back to the document, the sheet that I was on before, it looks like it will continue the highlight. So it looks like um, there needs to be some kind of OCR, optical character recognition, to be performed whenever you open a document in order for Adobe to uh, detect text and then to allow you to highlight which I don't know if you guys are familiar with this in the past I don't think this was the way it was you know a few months ago even I could be wrong but I distinctly remember that I could be I could open up a PDF document that had text and immediately start highlighting as I'm doing here um, without having to uh, go here to edit and then uh, edit text and images in order for Adobe to detect it. So I'm thinking that there was a new change here um, and that in one of their updates they modified this and it's just it's just a, a hassle that I am not liking at all you know. So you see here um, I went to I, I, I got to a new sheet in the document I went to edit um, edit text and images and now that it's detected text on this uh, particular sheet it will allow me to select the text if I go to highlight it won't allow me to highlight immediately for some strange reason but then if I go back and select the text I can highlight which that's just cumbersome but anyways um long story short this is I believe this is the free version of Acrobat um, I am going to close this out I'm not gonna save any changes and now I'm gonna open up Acrobat Pro if I can find it so let's go to choose another app yeah, I didn't want it to uh, to redirect everything to the free version so uh, all right now I need to go back uh, acro, acrobat great so it looks like it changed the uh, the extensions on that um, so let me go to my creative cloud and see if I can track down okay so there's Acrobat DC Acrobat X where are you where is Design layout UI Acrobat PDF. So can I open this? Uh, bear with me, guys. This is a okay. So this is this should be. This is Acrobat Pro DC. Alright, 
so there was a uh, looks like there was a different way of doing this PDF comment scan OCR All right, I think this is what I was looking for. Okay, now it's going to go through the entire document. And, um... Detect all the text. And let's see if it will let me highlight. So basically, uh... Apparently, I, um, I, I think it was the it was opening already up in Adobe Acrobat Pro. All right, so now that's detected text. We will go to highlights, and perfect. Now I can, I can highlight. Yeah. So this is uh, what I was gonna get to. Um, so if I remember how to do this, uh, if you go down to view tools scan and OCR now the I believe that you can only do this if you have the professional version of Adobe Acrobat that's why I was trying to get you guys to see it in the free version how it's a little bit different um, I do not believe in the free version of Adobe Acrobat it will let you uh, perform the optical character recognition scan. You must have the uh, full version, the pro professional version. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, leave a comment down below if you're if you are able to use the free version of Adobe Acrobat and perform uh, character an analysis in order to highlight. But um, once you go here to this menu. Um, right now I already have it already opened so it's giving me the option to close if I close it'll remove it from there from the toolbar but I'll go back tools scan and OCR click open it'll give an, an additional toolbar here at the top and you want to select uh, recognize text and you want to select recognize text in this file I have not played with uh, in multiple files um, that's going to be interesting how that works but currently in this file is one we're working with so we'll click on that um, you can select all pages the language that the document is in which is in this respect it's English um, settings pretty much kind of gives you the same options the output you can uh, change that if you want to and set the DPI. I'm just going to leave everything as default. And then you click recognize text and it will go through uh, the entire document and uh, detect all the text for you. Um, and once you do that, um, then you, you should be able to highlight to your heart's content, to your heart's desire uh, without having to repeat this process again. As long as you save the document, you you it, you might need to save the document as a um, new uh, as a new file, um, so that it saves all the changes that you made. But once this is done, um, then you you'll be able to uh, to highlight uh, any text in your document. Um, this is the reason I made this video is this was kind of like a, a sticking point for me um, because I distinctly remember in the past of not. Uh, having to do this but uh, I could be wrong if, if you guys uh, if this has always been the case uh, let me know in the comments below but uh, if you've ever wondered why uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader is not allowing you to uh, highlight uh, text in documents that you open this is uh, why and this is the workaround to get it um, uh, working for you so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.